Now the first step is to try spam joining the game. So you can put the code and try to you can join again and again and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to clear a live service cache. Now for this, you can go to settings and then go to the general tab. Scroll down here, you can see clear live service cache. Now when you do so, here you can see clearing the live service cache will remove locally stored data obtained from future lab servers. This can lead to slightly, to slightly longer load times in areas where necessary data is re-downloaded. Re the option may be recommended as a fix for issues related to cache data. So click on it. If you agree, confirm and then you can check. If that is not work, next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, you can close the game. And then you can go to the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And then make a right click on the game exe files, select properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. If you have the game on Xbox app, then you can go to manage files, browse, open the game folder content folder and you can here you can see game launcher helper make a right click and then run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can check you can try this one as well if this is working or not you can check so you can you don't try this one you can just make a right click on game launch helper run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to Allow the gimme exe file to antivirus program. Now this is for Steam users. If you have any antivirus program, like if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change setting. Click on allow another app. Click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Beat, Defender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to disconnect and reconnect the Wi Fi. Simply, you can disconnect and then you can reconnect and then you can check. Next step is to switch to different network. So, if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network and then check. If that is not work, you can use mobile hotspot. So you can turn on the data on the phone, turn on the hotspot in your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now once done, you can connect to your phone network. Find your phone network over here and then you can connect to your phone network and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer, unplug the power cable, Turn off the Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart your Wi-Fi router, and connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check. Next is to try Google DNS server. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to network and internet, network sharing and center, click on your internet over here, go to properties, select internet protocol version 4, TCP IPv4 and then click on properties. Put a check on use the following DNS server addresses for preferred type in 8888 and for alternate you can type in 8844 and then click on validate settings upon exit click on OK close this now you can re, uh, relaunch the, now you can check still not working you can try this this server now for this you can again click on your internet properties internet protocol version 4 properties instead of google you can type in one over here 
again one 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 and then it's one zero zero one and then again validate settings upon exit click on ok and then once done now you can check still not working you can relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, you can switch back to the default like you can go to properties if it is not working select internet protocol version 4 properties select the automatic go to default click on ok close this and then check if that does not work uh, you can uncheck ipv6 check it once you're done playing the game so you can again click on your internet over here properties scroll down over here you can see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 if this is checked uncheck this click on ok launch the game again and then check once you are done playing the game you can go back and then put a check once again now the next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make our acting on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste all the command all these commands one by one hit the enter key Now once done, you can close this, restart your computer. And after the system restart, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to turn off close VPN. So if you're using VPN, turn it off or you can close VPN and then check. Use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use the wired connection and then relaunch the game. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right, make a right click on the date and time. Click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically is on over here. So here you can see set time zone automatically. If this is off, then turn it off. Again, set time automatically. If this is on, uh, like off, turn it on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important over here at the bottom. Click on sync now. If you receive any kind of error in red color, click on sync now multiple times. One, you see this tick over here. Go back to time and language, language and region. And then make sure that you select your country over here. Now over here, make sure your country is original country is selected over here. Now the last step is to verify or repair the game file. Now for this Steam users, make a right click on the game properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files after the verification launch the game game pass user click on this three dots manage files and then click on verify and repair and once the repair is done launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel